Barça, Sport, Culture and Education by Vice President of Football Club Barcelona, Carles Villarubi. A 60-minute talk from the Aegeus Salisbury International Arts Festival 2013. Carles Villarubi discusses the sporting, cultural and educational values which are central to the exceptional success of Barça. Barça is one of the only three clubs in the world to have never been relegated and its values of teamwork, effort, respect, humility and tolerance are key to this success. To follow this on Twitter, use hashtag Salisbury Festival, hashtag Barça, hashtag Carles Villarubi. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carlos Villarubi. I feel like Leo Messi without her. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Councillor Scott, I'm really very honored to be here this evening. Distinguished uh, guests, good evening to everyone. Please let me start especially thanking Laura Phillips, the chairwoman of the festival, and Maria Bota, director of the festival. And let me also thank Institute Ramon Llull, who has coordinated this meeting. During this conference, I will speak about Barca, sport, culture, and education for words that are intrinsically linked to our entity and are part of our essence as a club, a, class, a club whose roots run deep into the society of our country, Catalonia, and of the Catalan people. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to explain what FC Barcelona is, why it is a different club, why it is Miss Kung Club, as we like to say, and why it, is, it has become one of the most renowned football clubs in the world and one of the icons of the 20, 21st century, without losing its identity or unique characteristics. What is and what does FCB represent? Let me start this definition by showing you this video where we will be able to understand all the elements that make up the strong diversity of FCB. Please, video. Let me start. Well, as you have just seen, we are proud, a proud club, a club that it is in its 113 years of history, has gone through glorious moments, but has also suffered many difficult moments that even brought it close to disappearing. More than a sporting success, FCB identifies itself as Catalan and a, Catalonia, and a Catalanist club. This because it is history and its roots are strongly, strongly, sorry, strongly linked with those of Catalonia and of the Catalan people. I will now explain some of those relevant moments that help understand our special idiosyncrasy. FC Barcelona was founded back in 1899 by a Swiss national named Hans Gamper, another foreign friends of him who were interested in a British sport named football, which was highly unknown at that time in our country. Hans Gamper integrated and became a Catalan. He adopted the name, the Catalan name, Juan and was always very grateful to the country that welcomed him. Gamper was a player, board member, and president during his tenure at the FC. But above all, he established the pillars on which the club would be built. He imagined a club, a democratic sports society, freely ruled by its members that would own the club, and also gave the club a meaning that would mark it forever, its commitment to Barcelona and Catalonia. Those pillars that I am talking about are Catalanism, democracy, multi-sport, and universality. And 113 years later, those pillars remain 
as strong and valid as the first day. The love for football started to grow as FCB started winning the fir its first titles. In 1902, the club conquered its first official title. title. In 1909, it bought its own football stadium with a 6,000 seat capacity, and the team started to produce its first stars, such as Zamora, Samitier, or Paulino Alcantara, an extraordinary goal scorer who is still the top scorer in the history of the club with 369 goals in 357 games, even ahead of Leo Messi. Now, going back to the first years of Barca, I would like to give you an example of the democratic of, uh, spirit of the club and it adds, uh, its advanced thinking at that time. The first woman member, Edelmira Calvetto, was accepted back in 1913, when universal suffrage wasn't yet illegal in our country. This first female member broke social barriers and opened the way for the club to currently boast of 42,000 female members, some 25% of the number of members in total. The role of women at Barca forms part of the club's unique identity. It has two female directors on its council and more 600 sportswomen each weekend wear the Barca shirt. Returning to its beginnings, Barca wasn't immune to the political events that were unfolding and bad times began. In 1925, during an official match in the Las Cortes Stadium, the public jeered during the Spanish National anthem, national anthem, and as a reprisal, the authorities closed the club during six months. Years later, FC Barcelona was committed to the social, political, and cultural situation initiated by the Republican Generalitat of Catalonia. In fact, the official bulletin of the club stated in 1932, the popularity of our club is undeniable and it includes elements that are not related to sport. And these elements include political and cultural participation. With the start of the Spanish Civil War in 1936, the club began to experience some very difficult times. Its president, Mr. Suñol, was assassinated in 1936 by Franco's soldiers. Suñol was one of the biggest promoters of the concept of sports and citizenship, the concept that accentuated the connection of social values to sports. Some years later, during a tour in America, many players abandoned the club due to the war. After the war, the club had only 3,000 3, members. And in some circles of the Franco regime, the possibility of changing its name to FC España was being considered. As you all know, the Franco dictatorship prohibited the use of Catalan in all levels of society, along with many other restrictive laws and sanctions against the losers of the war and against the entire Catalan society and its culture. Even in this situation, and even during difficult sports moments, FC, FC Barcelona became one of the most visible symbols against the dictatorship, opening a small window from which citizens could express themselves, and more so in the Catalan language. It raised a strong network of fan clubs all around the country, and its games especially those against Real Madrid became much more than football games. Today, this sport is anonymously considered as a, ve a, vehicle, a vehicle of integration and cultural diversity. In this sense, FC Barcelona is considered 
an example of an international and multicultural club. It has acted as an instrument integrating new funds from all over the world. During the 60s and 70s, this phenomenon was manifested by the migratory influx of residents from the south of Spain to Catalonia for economic and labor reasons. And in more recent history, the incorporation of other immigrants from Latin America, North Africa, and Asia. For these new arrivals, Barca has acted as a common denominator and unifier that has facilitated the integration of these people into the Catalan, into the Catalonian society. Please allow me to explain an anecdote. One of my colleagues into the board of directors, who is, who is uh, a good friend of mine, his name is Didak Lee, once told me an interesting story of his life. Some 30 years ago, Didak Lee was born to an immigrant Chinese uh, uh, couple who lived in a small village north of Barcelona, called Figueras. As it was not a metropolis, it, it was a bit odd to see any kind of foreign or foreigners living there, being as well Chinese, because he's Chinese. <laughs> Looks at Chinese. He told me that he always felt out of place growing up there. However, recalled, he recalled that the first time he actually felt that he fit in, that he was part of the group, that he was Catalan, was when he was in a local pub watching a FCB game on television, cheering along with all the spectators. He just wanted to focus for a moment in the history because it is an essential part in, in the understanding of why, and even today, FCB is understood as Mescun Club, a saying that was forged from the words of President Narcisse de Carreras back in 1968. FCB, Barcelona, is something more than a football club. This has been transmitted during generations, and the club has maintained its strong position in the defense in the defense of Catalonia and democracy. Nowadays, this saying not only has a patriotic implication, but has, has expanded to include other identity sim symbols of Barca, such as being a club owned by its own members, a multi-sports club by five, with five professional sections, football, basketball, handball, roller hockey, and futsal, and eight amateur sections that defend a set of values that can be found in all the club's actions, as well as in the education of our sportsmen. This saying also has a strong social implication that is channeled to our foundation, of which we talk about later. Step by step, the club gained more and more new members as it started winning more games and advancing to the sport competition. The first European title was achieved in 1948-49, the Copa Latina, precursor of the, of the European, European Cup. The club also experienced the arrival of, le of legends such as Kubala, the leader of the Five Cups team, who won all the titles played during those years, 51-53, and who made it possible for Barca fans to once again relieve their illusions and trials. At the same time, as the dictatorship weakened and the basis to re-establish democracy in Spain were being set, FCB was able to recover its symbols and became a central element in the normalization of the Catalan language and religion. Contemporary history brought more victories and titles than even before as well as arrival of legendary players such as Cruyff, Maradona, Lineker, Romario, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, which leads us today at the reign of Leo Messi as the world's best player, and for many, the best player in the history of football. FCB will never lose its identity, 
It will only grow stronger and become more committed to social issues. Today, FCB is known worldwide, a club that, that has own, uh, has won four Champions Leagues and that just claimed a 22nd league title in his history. A victory that has a special meaning for us, given, given the human element of the team overcoming the illness to both our coach, Tito Villanova, and uh, to our player, Erika Vidal. The latter having returned to action after undergoing a liver transplant. Both are examples of courage, courage in life. FC Barcelona is also one of the world's biggest budgets, with almost 500 million euros in revenue from the last season. Its players are recognized all over the world. Barca has more than 350 million fans on the planet, and it's a social media leader with more than 60 million followers on Twitter, Facebook, etc. However, the club maintains a strong link with its peoples, language, and territory. Once a famous writer and a big Barcelona fan, Manolo Bastien Montalban said, and I quote, FC Barcelona is the symbolic and armed army of Catalonia. This is an excellent example of a simple phrase of what the club means for Catalonia. But it's not only history that links FC Barcelona with the Catalan society. It is also its strong democratic nature that allows members to own the club. More than 170,000 at the moment, and every six years elect the president and the board <coughs> member. This organ of government is the one that dictates the root plan of the club, but it must always submit its relevant decision, decisions to the assembly of delegates a representation of these 170,000 members. This means that members choose how their football club has to be run, forcing the existence of a continuous debate of how the club should develop in all aspects. Therefore, members feel a strong sense of responsibility and ownership. This also means that in order to, to proceed over FCB and to proceed efficiently, achieve sporting success is not the only issue. One must also respect the history, the traditions, and the deep roots of FCB, and not only respect, but defend them and promote the fundamental values of the club. I would like to highlight a word that has become a fundamental pillar of the FC Barcelona models, model in sport formation, education and solidarity, and that word is values. Previously I spoke about FCB, what the club means and how it is deeply rooted into the Catalan culture and society, but now we should consider the sporting aspects that have converted FC Barcelona into a world reference, into a unique and singular team with this incomparable style of playing. Because Barca plays differently. Our style is based on a philosophy that consists in attacking and achieving the goal by touch, possession, association with teammates, solidarity in the field, and using other skills behind those normally used, used in the physical game. This style is the one that is thought is taught to our sportsmen and women in our formation teams since they are kids. We actually have more than 300 boys and girls that make up 18 formation teams and who receive a sport and humanistic education based on this style of play and on the essential values of the club. Respect, effort, ambition, teamwork, and humility. These are some of the main principles taught and expected while educating the kids on our teams in La Masia. So, what is La Masia? Most of you will have heard about La Masia. Well, La Masia in Catalan means a country house, 
house of people who work the land. The old Masia was a country house situated next to the Camp Nou. Well, the old Masia was a country, it was 30 years ago, became the first resident for young football players. It was refurbished to become the home of all the young players that came from outside Barcelona, those recruited by the club's network of scouts. Over the years, the Masia concept has become the club symbol, its answers to player formation. The Masia became too small over the time, and two years ago, we inaugurated a new residence, a modern 6,000 6, square meters building that hosts 83 sportsmen and women from football and the other professional section, athletes, that are taking care of an educated uh, as if they were at home. Because from the first moment, it is important for Barca to form youngsters with talent who have dreamed of someday playing to the first team. But above all, it is important for the Masia to form, to form well-rounded individuals. And this is why it is very meticulous in their education and wants them to grow up with these values that I was talking about. This is why this model of education and the approach towards players is so important. This is the difference between our formation center in La Masia and other club centers. We will sacrifice a great sports talent because he or she isn't a good fit with the type of person we are looking for. In the last 30 years, excellent football players have emerged from La Masia players. Players such as Guillermo Mor, Pep Guardiola, Xavi Hernández, Andres Iniesta or Leo Messi. Presently, 16 out of 24 players of the first team come from La Masia. In 2010, FC Barcelona received unanimous recognition from the world of football for all the triumphs that were achieved from the club when the three Golden Bowl nominees of the year were Xavi, Iniesta and Messi. Each of, the, or each of these players were formed as footballers and persons in La Masia. These players have grown up with this philosophy of the game and have been formed in a style of playing that needs players who are not only strong and technically able, but also intelligent and supportive. I always ask myself if Xavi or Iniesta would have had the same opportunities at 15 or 16 years old in another setting when they weren't even five feet tall to jump for the ball with the other midfield. This is an important element to have in mind. All players are welcome at FCB. Size and strength are important, but they are not excluded. Let me tell you a story about Pep Guardiola. When Pep was scouted for the first time by FCB traders, some of them were arguing about his football ability and said, this boy is good, but his only advantage is his intelligence. The other coach then said, well, excellent. That's the best thing he can have. Pep was a tall, thin football player. His physical abilities were not extraordinary, but he was football intelligent. He screened the field with his mind and eyes while the ball was or wasn't at his feet. He controlled the game from his mind, not from his muscles. Years later, there were also those who advised against signing a 13-year-old boy called Leo Messi because he was considered too short. Those footballers that remain remind you of the way Xavi, Iniesta or Messi play ball or even Piquet or Busquets, who are stronger, those players use their mind first while playing on the field. When we talk about La Masia, it is known that there are four key elements that decide if a certain player can play 
with Barca's first team. Talent, personality, work for environment. To become a player in FCB first team, you need a perfect equilibrium of these four elements. And here is where the Masia formation process comes in. Every good football player, and even every excellent football player, must have an inborn talent for football. But nowadays, talent alone will not take you to the top. Or if it does, it will not keep you there for a long time. First, talent needs to be found within the millions of football players around the world. But then, that talent needs to be free and also managed in a positive way. If not, the other elements may go out of control. There comes into play the personality and work of work of the player and of the organization that surrounds him. To be a football player at the level of FCB and to be able to accept all the inevitable pressure and all the non-controllable elements that take place during your career, you need a strong personality, not only for the future, but the formation process, but for the formation process. Lots of things are going to happen while you grow up as a person and as a football player, many things. And mo most of them you are not going to be able to control. You are, not going, you are going to have to work hard to keep up with your studies and face different coaches and moments. So you have to be strong and work hard, have to afford to keep fighting for your dream during every training session and class you may attend. But here comes the fourth and key element. You are never going to be alone in this process in La Masia, never. Because for FCB, the, envir the environment that surrounds the formation player is as important as any other of the physical and psychological elements that take place in the process. If you, if you talk to one of the formation players or one of the FCB first team players that have gone through the Masia, or anyone who works there, from the director to the chef of the receptionist, they are all going to say that La Masia is a big family. Yes, family. That's the word they use. You have to ima imagine around 90 young teenagers living together, away from their families, and trying to climb one of the toughest ladders in professional sports. For FCB, the family element is very important. Instead of trying to separate the players from their roots and from their families, we believe the family is a very important and vital part of the formation process. And that's why, if the family cannot be there during most of the year, it has to be recreated within the walls of La Masia. Because we are not only forming professional football players, but human beings and persons who need to be prepared for what life has to offer them. Let me tell you another story. Andres Iniesta, Iniesta got married. To be exact, it was last summer. Well, guess who, invite, who he invited to his wedding? The Masia head chef and the concierge. So the guy who scored a goal to win a World Cup and he's considered one of the best players ever, remembers those who helped him grow as a person and as a footballer. This helps you understand why they are the family. Time and patience, the same that parents would have with their kids, give those players the tools to be great and to have the time and patience for others. Let's see a video of how a day at La Masia takes place for the players. <coughs> we, we've talked about the football formation process, process of a player, but I will now enter into another fundamental formation and it's growing up as a person, it's educative formation. So before the video I talked about family, I said we people who live or work at La Masia define it's a family. Well. Many of you will think that it's common. FCD tries to recreate a family standard, so the football formation process of those players is as steady as possible. 
The answer is yes, but we do it because we have a responsibility towards them, towards their family, who have allowed us to educate them both in football and in life, and towards the future. We are the family and therefore we have a strong responsibility to, towards everything that they do now and towards what they will be able to do in the future. We are convinced that during the formation process of a football player, it is fundamental to understand and take into account that before being a football player, he is a young adult getting on with his life. We must not forget that not all of those in the La Masia will get to the first team or even become professional football players. And we have the responsibility to give them the tools so in the future they can get into the university or get a job. As you have seen in the video about the day in La Masia, FCB formation players only spend some time of, the, of, of their day playing football, the daily training, and the rest of their schedule is strictly devoted to their studies and their personal development, which includes routines regarding healthy habits, eating and many other extracurricular activities. They go to class as any other child would. would. They take on reinforcement classes. They start their pre-university studies. They learn Spanish and Catalan. They have their free time as any other child would do. And then they play football. And because all that they have done before in their life will show up in their football career. What they do on the field will also affect their life. They are connected moments. One of them cannot be understood without the other. Messi cannot be understood without his humility. Guardiola without his work effort. Iniesta and Xavi without their teamwork. And I could name many values, respect, excellence, happiness, ambition. They believe in those values and they use them in their life. And they create a strong bond with the club. With this philosophy, if you allow me to call it that way. That's why a guy like Cesc Fabregas, who was a superstar, at Arsenal decide to come back to FCB, even losing money, because they know that FCB is their home, their natural space to develop their abilities. But this all came, comes to be because they believe in those values. They are not empty words. They believe in them as a motto for their football and for their lives. And why? Because they have grown up learning them, because they have been taught with them. Every Saturday in our Ciudad Esportivo, you can see playing the future Piquets, Chavis, Iniestas, Messi, and a long line of football players who represent those values and who represent this formation model. But you don't see the thousands of them who haven't arrived to the top level, but who also carry those values with them in, the, in, in their non-football life. Why? Easy. Because they haven't been formed in a factory of producing football players. They have been formed within a family, within a school that also happened to be a football school of excellent players. Barca's roots with its country have been present in all cultural elements. Throughout its long history, there have been strong ties to the notable artists of the time. In the 20s, there were strong ties to Rafael Alberti, a universal, a universal poet from Andalusia from the generation 27, who dedicated some verses to the Hungarian Barca player, Fra player Franz Platko, or the genius surrealist Catalan painter, Salvador Dalí, who was, who was very good friends with artists from Barcelona of that time, like Samitier. Dalí produced some works directly related to FC Barcelona, such a fantastic engraving made special, especially for the celebration of the 75th anniversary of the club, held in 1974, or a painting from 1943 called Cosmic Fleets, which used the Barca colors blue and maroon, and was donated for the celebration of the first Biennale of Art of FC Barcelona in 1985. Another universal painter, Joan Miró, was the artist of the commemorative poster of the Silver Jubilee of the club in 1974. 25 years later, for its 100th anniversary, Antoni Tapies, another world-renowned renowned Catalan artist, was in charge of the official poster. 
more examples of FCB Barcelona, Barcelona styles to cultural include novelist and playwright Jose, Jose Maria de Segarra or Manolo de Montalban, Montalban, a well-known writer and journalist from Barcelona and a huge Barca fan. In fact, named, in fact, named after him is the Basket Montalban Prize, an award given to outstanding journalist work in the fields of sport, other universal catalog linked to Barca, Josep Carreras, who was sung at Camp Nou, or the chef Ferran Adrià, who at the moment is, participated, is participating in a campaign for our foundation called Your What You Eat, to encourage healthy eating habits in small children. In, small children. in the final part of this lecture, I would like to explain one of the aspects that actually helps to understand why Barca is more than a club. It's social and supporting side, and it's social responsibility towards our country, all channeled through FCB Foundation. The FCB Foundation was founded in 1994, and it's the organ through which FCB expresses its corporate social responsibility. Therefore, it represents the social aspect of FCB and develops all its social projects both in the Catalan territory, its priority, and internationally through alliance with our important foundations. The mission of the FCB Foundation is to educate children and young adults in values through sport as an engine of change through personal and community development. We try to transmit the inherent values of sport of FCB to children and young adults because we believe in the changing power of those values as we witness their effect every day at the club, from the seven-year-old kids up to the first team superstar. The, fund the foundation is mainly financed by the 1.7% of the club's ordinary revenue and to the 1.5% from the professional athletes and staffers of the club. Allow me to explain how the foundation works so everyone can you understand can understand how the club develops its corporate social responsibility. The foundation has educational projects directed toward children and young adults, such as Barca Kids and Football Net, where values are worked within the pedagogical principles of sport. But the foundation also promotes campaigns to raise awareness in the promotion of healthy habits, respect, and the fight against racism and integration of disabled athletes. Finally, and also the foundation has changed its scope to focus on Catalan territory, territory. It hasn't forgotten or abandoned its international projects that are developed throughout alliances. This includes the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, where common work against polio in, is taking place. The PSD Sculptors Foundation, with whom we are developing football integration projects in Colombia and the USA, the Leo Messi Foundation Social Projects in Argentina, or the IPB, and of course our long-standing partnership with UNICEF, with whom we work side by side in promoting children development projects through sport in many countries. So as you can see, not only history dictates the social and national heart of FCB, but also its reality and its day-to-day -day work and action. We believe today work and action. We believe our club is special, but we not only believe it, we dedicate time and effort so it continues to be a reality. To finish, we will now see a video to resume what we are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Carlos. I, I, uh, I think I speak for all of us. Uh, I wish that this uh, room was filled with uh, the chairman of Premier League football clubs to watch that. Um, it's fascinating. Um, I'm going to now open it out to the floor. Uh, if you just put your hand up if you'd like to ask a question. And, and, and just wait uh, before you start speaking. There'll be a microphone um, coming down. Uh, before we do start, uh, Carlos, I just want to ask you this one question. Uh, this weekend... Um, in London, uh, we hosted the Champions League final between two German teams. Does that mean 
it's the end of an era, and it's no longer the Barcelona era. The Germans are now in charge. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I, I mean, it, it could be. I mean, it could be good for the football. Yeah. Uh, it looks like um, uh, Bayern and, <coughs> and Bayern is uh, having a, a. It's playing a extremely good uh, football, and uh, uh, we are. It's not sure, of course, but. Uh, we don't feel like uh, our team is it's really uh, losing, it's really changing the, 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 the wave, you know, we are not, we don't feel, if we, look our, if we see our team, we, we don't feel like in the, at the end of the wave, but, but it could be that uh, the, the Germans uh, are starting a, their own wave uh, with a good progression, and it could be that, uh, and that's good for us because that could be for us a, a new, a new, uh, a new target to, to, to you know, that, that, that could be for us a new uh, expectation to, to a new goal. You know? But it could be. And I, I think it's a, it's a good, uh, it, it's good uh, that they play so well. When when you are uh, when you see another teams playing worse than you and being at the top, uh, then you don't feel you don't feel happy. When you see a final like uh, like uh, you, when you see Bayern Munich playing so well and, and beating and having this uh, emotion and, uh, and having this um, uh, ambition uh, and winning, uh, we want now to play next year. Oh yeah, and then we have now a, a new, a new ambition to, to, to play against them and to beat them and to be better than them. But I, I feel that uh, probably Germans uh, next year uh, could, it could be. Okay, anyone got a question? Yeah. Gentlemen, the end of that row, that, that passes now. Anyway, we'll play it again. We've certainly got a wonderful club, and I've been in the Camp Nou for a match, which is wonderful. But um, I wondered how you feel the club has been influencing you since you became a vice president, and what the work of a vice president uh, involves. Um, I'll repeat it if you want. I wonder how being part of the club since you became elected vice president has had an influence on yourself, personally. On myself. And something about the work that you do as vice president. Just oh, quite interesting oh, to hear. Oh. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> let me explain you. Uh, uh, I've been a member of the club from uh, the day I was born. In, in Catalonia, uh, well, it's well, some tradition that when you when you are born, your, your, your father, your parents, they, they, you're a member. So, but I was hockey player, not, not football fan. And all of a sudden, when I was 15 or 16, uh, Cruyff, Johan Cruyff came as a, fo uh, a, a football player in Barca, and I went straight to the to the stadium to see a football game because I don't was a football fan, and I, I fell in love with Cruyff and with the Barca. And then, from uh, now 45 years, uh, I fell in love with football. Uh, but until three years ago, I was just on my seat with my with my kids uh, watching football. As a, but never I was related or involved with with the board or with the running the club or what else. And all of a sudden, four years ago, the, the, the Sandro Silva, the chairman, the, the, now the chairman, he asked me to to, to run the the, the the candidature of being on the board. I said yes. Uh, then, yeah, a little bit change. You, you know, change in, in positive way. Uh, two things. Uh, just, I was, Jim, before, before uh, this afternoon I was explaining to him, uh, two, two, two specific things change. First, the bus is like a black hole. You, if you just get close, it swallows you, you know? <laughs> if you are in your office and says, okay, I'll go to the club for just, I'll be right back in half an hour. No, you won't. <laughs> Disappear. 
12, mid, midday. No, I'll be back for lunch. He said, uh, 3 a.m., uh, 3 p.m. That's right, you did it. This is the first characteristic. The second one is that, um, uh, that means at my age, I'm 59, you, all the people who approach to you, uh, approach to you asking for sad things, for, I'm related to finance. All the people who, who approach me is asking me sad things, uh, not interesting things. From three years ago, I'm in Barca, all the people who approach me is smiling, asking me things about Neymar, Messi. All the people, uh, do you have a pin? Do you have a, a card? A, do you, a picture? You know what I mean? So it changes my life in terms of all the people is asking me nice things about food. Yeah, nice things. Uh, so it, ch it changes in, positive, in, in, in a positive way. Oh, the guy needs to fix the problems. Gentlemen down here at the picture. No, but talking seriously, no, no, talking seriously. Um, uh, Barca, it's. I, I don't know if I, 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 I explain well what it means in Catalonia. Uh, in Catalonia, Barca is a, a part of the soul of the people. So being related, I'm not, I'm not, uh, of course, uh, being a member of the Manchester United or the Celtic, blah, blah, I don't know, it's, it, you must be proud to be a member of, of any board of directors of any, uh, any club because it's a, it's a t-shirt, it's a color, it's, it's a city, it's, of course, it's an institution. But in my case, in my case, in my, in my country, Everybody knows you, and everybody is proud of is something more than a club, you know what I mean? So it's a soul. Then, then everybody recognizes you as you are a little bit the ambassador, you know? Of, so uh, today, today I was in the Barcelona airport. Four, five, six, seven people, in, in 7 a.m. in the morning, half a dozen people, no, at the airport that I, I was coming for a conference in, in Salzburg, not in UK, in Salzburg. <laughs> Seven a.m. in the morning, Salzburg. <laughs> How do those people? Good, oh, oh, good. Oh. Explain them what's happening. <laughs> so I must be proud of that. You know that changes something. That's that's that uh, is, is something spiritual. Yeah, gentlemen, the picture. Uh, as you know, we have our own champions in Salisbury, uh, which is great. How do you think English football should change to be compared favourably with the Spanish national team? And I did like your joke about the German football, because the final was bloody boring from start <laughs> to finish. I'm sorry, it was. Compared with your games in the Champions League, and like the other gentlemen, I've been to New Camp. Uh, I'm also chairman of a football club in India. So I know what your job is day after day after day. And I know where your heart is, having been to Barcelona. What do you think English football should do to go forward? Hang on, I forgot four stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me, let me, uh, it's a question of respect. As a, it's a question of respect. Uh, uh, I cannot have a um, Catalan, have a non-British uh, football lover, in UK, I cannot answer this question. I cannot give lessons of football being here. You, can, you must understand that. I cannot. No. Okay. <laughs> not, not in public. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if Catalonia ever becomes independent, which league will you play in? Will you be able to play Real Madrid? Would you stay in the Spanish football or would you have an own Catalan league? 
Well, <laughs> this is not. That means uh, if we if we Barça is not in the process of a possible independence of Catalonia. FC Barcelona is not a, a player in the process. It's a team. No, it's not a team. It's an institution. It's a, it's a football club. So Barca must be and will be on the place of the country we want to be. I mean, we will be in the place of the country we will be. We are, <coughs> of course, uh, a play, uh, uh, owned by 170,000 people. Who are Catalans. So we must be on the place that our owners they want to be. We are. So, but we, we are not going to lead any process. But we will be at the place they want to be. Uh, we we will not fail them. You know what I mean. Uh, and we will be there. But where we will play. As a man for me, we'll play. We'll be at, we'll be at the Champions League, whatever. <laughs> we'll play. We'll play against Real Madrid. I don't know if in the final of the Champions League. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> Carlos, um, if we assume that all Premier League and other league chairmen in this country want to aspire to become Barcelona. I believe that's an impossible dream because even Abramovich and the others cannot buy the history and the culture that is Barca. W would you agree with that? Well, uh, listen, uh, if, if I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll answer your question in another way. If we need an IPO of Barca, we sell Barca, we were killed on the street. Like if we were in Iraq, in Baghdad. They kill us. That means no way. In Barca, it's, it's, uh, it's in, in the concept of Barca, in, Bar in Barcelona, we cannot do that. That means uh, it's not, uh, I, well, I can understand that. Uh, it's another way to, to approach, to approach the, the football, but with our history, we cannot do that. We, of course, I, I, I don't have I, nothing against myself, but uh, we cannot do that in that way. Almost, uh, well, no, more than, more than one, a couple of last questions. Guy down here? Oh, a little guy down here. Wearing a familiar shirt. <coughs> How long has the club been founded? Uh, it's been founded in 1899. So, um, uh, 113, no, 114, 114, don't leave, I have a, one thing for you, don't leave, remember, stick here, huh? I have a, a small gift for you. Yeah, not there, at the uh, local shop. Uh, you know the Barcelona badge, why is it like split into like different sections and what do the sections mean? What's the sections of the ah, Barcelona okay. badge? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is Barcelona flag. This is Catalan flag. This is the, the, the t-shirt of Barca. This is a ball of football. <laughs> ah, well, another question. If you see, uh, if you see, how do you say it? Un escudo, un Como digo? Marcelo, como digo? Shield. Shield. Uh, if you see a shield with CFB, it's because when Franco uh, regime, they changed CFB, not FCB. Because in Spanish, it's Club de Football Barcelona. In Catalan, it's Football Club Barcelona. The, uh... They changed the, 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 the order. The, the St. George's Cross, uh, uh, St. George is also the patron saint yeah. of uh, Catalonia. And uh, as an example of how someone can be absorbed into uh, 
into Barcelona culture. Johan Cruyff named his son Jordi after the same, didn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, Jordi. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, Carlos, which is more important for Barcelona to win, the, the La Liga or the European Cup? Because in, in um, England, I think most supporters like to win their National League and that the European Cup or the Champions League, whatever you want to call it, is uh, a bonus, but it's not the main yeah. aim. Both. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let me tell you something. If we, it depends on what does the Real Madrid. <laughs> no, no. La Liga, always, La Liga, it's uh, La Liga, it's um, so it's so strong the competition against Real Madrid that you win La Liga, it, you're, you're happy. <clears throat> the, the, but we. As I explained in the in the in the in the lecture, uh, we think from the beginning because our founder it was not a local guy; he was a Swiss guy. And the 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 the, the beginning of the club it was a, a, a foreign people. It was British, in fact. It was a group of six guys, eight guys. Six were two Swiss, one German, three British. And one Catalan. So the Catalan was the, the, the strange guy who just started to play because the, the British were the guys with the, the Swiss. They play football. They know how how to play football. And yeah, <laughs> and, and and they start to they explain to to, to the locals how that the play they get to play football. And um, so the concept it was a, a, a global. An international game, not a local game. You know, for you it's a local game, but for us it's a global game. So in our in our in our register, uh, the football is something global, not local. For you it's local. For us, for us it's global. So for us the league, okay, the league, yeah, it's important. But for us it's local and global. So it's local. So the league and the champions, global, uh, winning Real Madrid in the in the in the, in the, in, in the champions. <laughs> uh, time for a couple more uh, uh, questions. Yeah, can I just take the glasses on? Uh, Barca's internationally famous as a football club, but as I learned, and I was rather surprised to hear that you're a multi-sport club. So my question to you is. Um, why are you still a multi-sport club? And what, if any, benefits do you see that bringing to you? No, no benefits. A lot of money. <laughs> uh, if, we, if we win, if we win the Spanish um, basketball, uh, basket league, and we play, and we play the, the final, the European final of um, basket, we lost 10 million euros. If we win the handball league and we win the European handball league, we lost 5 million euros. If we win, we won. Uh, hockey, a lot of hockey every year, it costs us 3 million. Volleyball, two million euros. The, the, the old sections, 25 million euros. Why? Listen, two years ago, we, we, we take the decision of stopping the baseball. In baseball, we've got 25 players. 25 players. We've got a, a crisis. No one wants to go for many years to the baseball. But it is a tradition. I don't know why. In 1915, they decided that baseball was the sport of basket. It's a tradition that we have played. I don't know why. But if we take the decision of putting out the, 
it's a, I don't know why. It's a, it was a, it's, 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 it's written on the, on the sky that we are maybe four, Hans Gamper and these seven guys we would multi-sport and we are multi-sport. But that means we really believe that if football, if the strong football clubs of the world, they decide that only football is the, if the cinema industry decides that's only cinema, must be, uh, the, the theater is going to disappear, but I, I don't know. There is, football also needs to help a little bit, the, the, the basketball as well, a little bit. Because uh, I think it's a sport as well, and we should help them a little bit. And for us, for us, eight million, I don't know, eight million euros for us, Exactly. It's no, <laughs> no, no. In terms, of, in terms of, for, for, as a first team of, of of the first team, it's just this. Final question. Challenge is there. Oh, you must think that for just to tell you about basketball. In Catalonia, we have. Uh, more than 200, 200 basketball clubs. If Barca stops playing basketball, it's killed. You kill the sport. So we 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 pull that sport in Catalonia. So you kill the sport. Carlos, we've wondered for a long time how you've attracted. Players like Messi, Iniesta, Fabregas. I think maybe, has the secret come out in the video earlier that all these young children in the family are fed steak and chips? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being very light hearted. Is it but we noticed in the video that the, 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 the kids in the Iniesta, I think you call yes. it, we're being fed steak and chips, which is contrary to sort of what you would expect over here. It's all pasta and things like that nowadays. But I, I'm afraid this joke's going a bit flat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the food that matters. <laughs> Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, much is good. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, uh, it's uh, Messi. The history of Messi is very strange because uh, Messi was came to Barcelona and uh, he made one test. Uh, the first, uh, they scouted him in, in Argentina, came with his father. Uh, in February, 13, 13 years old, in February, uh, in the first test, which they refused him because he was very small, very small guy, small. and then uh, stayed with, with his parents in, in a hotel called Princesa Sofia by the, the Camp Nou, it's a famous hotel, and then uh, for three months, three months there, because Charlie de Schack, uh, the player, uh, a player of FC Barcelona, who, who was the second, the second trainer of Johan Cruyff, believes in him, and he he told the, the father stay, stay, don't worry, stay, 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 and he he convinced them to stay for one month, and he got the second chance, and then all of a sudden the director of La Magia, the director of La Magia, saw the guy, and because it's a pity, because talking frankly, the, the third video, it was not the video I, I, I ordered to come to, to Wimbledon today. It, it, they made a mistake. It's a video in which uh, you, you see uh, 
um, one of the first videos of Leo Messi, the, the ball, the ball of football of Leo Messi, all right? Here. It's, it's, a, it's unbelievable. The guy was, he controlled the ball. And in the, in, in the day he was controlling the ball. It was so so strange the thing that and the, the director of Messi Pereira got a call told him, this guy is very strange. And then stay for another month. And at the end, uh, the second test, they refused him again. And Charlie Rechac signed the contract against the, 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 the coach in a, in a, in a, and we got that, 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 that uh, how was it, in Tuvalu, in Tuvalu, Marcel, 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 Marcel. 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 napkin, a paper napkin of, of, of the restaurant, uh, we got that in, in, the, in the Museum of La Moine, in a paper napkin, he, he signed the contract. I, I am Charlie Rechac, and I promise you that you are, you will be, and I, I, this is the guarantee that you will be able to sign it and he stayed. But uh, the, 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 Leo Messi, it was a question of will, will, the, 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 all of that. And then, no, no, the rest of, the rest of people, it, it is because it, it's some cultural question. Pep Guardiola, for instance, you stick with him, Pep Guardiola always explain to you, listen, I, I, I've been a very lucky guy because uh, I was not uh, an excellent player. I was. Uh, it's very. It's very funny to to, 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 to to explain you that I was a a normal player, a kid, normal player. Then all of a sudden, I went to to La Masia. Uh, they 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 choose me. I played on the on the with the kids and I put. In the middle, because on the back I was not tough. They put me on the middle, I was so very good, passing the ball, not on the top because I was not a good runner. So, then, okay, I moved to the junior, okay, on the junior, we won the league, good. And all of a sudden, I was on the midfield quite good, and all of a sudden, they asked me to go to the first team. Yeah. And the first team of Barca, I had the money. On the, on the Spanish team, on the Spanish team, what, 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 on the uh, unbelievable, uh, and a lot of money, and all the, I retired and everything, and, uh, uh, he explained his life like this, no, 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 uh, coach, coach, Leo Messi, Leo Messi in the team, I want everything, uh, you know what, I want the Champions League, I want everything, I want a lot of money, you know what's the, 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 the nicest day of my life, not being, uh, Player not being not not winning the champion, not winning the league. The best night of my life is the first night that I sweat in La Masia. I, I was cheering, uh, cheering uh, crying all the night. And Tito Villanova remembers that we, because he was how was the uh, the 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 the, the bed, you know, the bet on top it was Tito Villanova. He remembers still because he, he didn't sleep because he was, oh. <laughs> so no no this is the the, 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 the he still explained that the the best day of my life is the first night fourteen years old I slept in Nomadia. This it was the dream of my life, not Champions League, the first day in Nomadia. So they they explain them to the other ones and then Guillermo Amor is the same. It's a that creates a kind of um, myth, myth, a kind of, and they explain very well to all, to the other ones. And now the the Deulofeu, which is the youngest now, it's coming in 1718, They explain the same. And in La Masia, they explain to the other ones, and it's a, and all the kids in all over Catalonia. If you go to Puchardá, into the mountains, and whatever, and they recognize you. The first thing that a kid like this one, the first thing is, I want to go to a Madrid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, enthusiasm personified. Uh, and, and the heart and soul of Barcelona Thank Football Club. Uh, Carlos, it's been a pleasure listening to you. Thank you so been much. It's been an honor to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Villarreal. Thank you. Thank you so much.